Hey class! How are you today? I hope that you are doing well. Welcome to our science class. Before we proceed, do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Felicians TV, and do not forget to hit the like and share button for more upcoming videos. Are you ready to listen? Just stay where you are and I hope you will enjoy our lesson for today. For our most essential learning competency for today, we have explain how solar and lunar eclipses occur using models. For our objectives, we have define eclipse, identify and differentiate the types of eclipse, and cite examples of beliefs and practices in the community in relation to eclipse. So let's start our lesson by playing a game. Do you know the game Four Picks One Word? Okay, I will be showing you pictures that are related to one another, and you are going to guess the word that is shown on the picture. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. What is the word on the first picture? Correct! That is the shadow. How about the second picture? Good job! That is a solar. And for the last picture? Very good! That is a moon. So what do you think is the relation of those pictures in our lesson for today? Do you have any idea? That's right! Our lesson for today is all about eclipse. So what is eclipse? Eclipse is an occurrence in which light from the sun and the moon is temporarily black due to the alignment of the earth, moon, and sun. When the earth moves around the sun and the moon also moves around the earth, a shadow will be then formed when light from the sun is partially or completely black by a heavenly body. Thus, when the shadow of one celestial object falls on another, an eclipse may occur. What are the two types of eclipse? Correct! We have the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse. What is a lunar eclipse? It occurs when the moon passes through the shadows of the earth. During this time, the earth is between the sun and the moon, blocking the sunlight that is supposed to reach the moon. In other words, during lunar eclipse, the earth's shadow is being cast on the moon. Here is the model of the lunar eclipse. Did you know the total lunar eclipse happened last May 26, 2021? And it was being observed in the different parts of the world. It was not just a lunar eclipse but also a supermoon and a black moon. Here are some photos taken during the total lunar eclipse. Is that amazing? Of course it is! The next total lunar eclipse will be observed on May 16, 2022. The next type of eclipse is the solar eclipse. It happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth that fully or partially blacks the sunlight reaching the earth. In other words, during solar eclipse, the moon's shadow falls on the earth. Here is the model of the solar eclipse. As you can observe, shadow form when eclipse happen. Did you know that there are two distinct parts of shadow? We have the umbra and the penumbra. The umbra is the darkest portion of the shadow, while penumbra is the region where only one portion of the light source is blocked by the object or it is the lightest portion of the shadow. 
Did you know that in some ancient and modern cultures, eclipses have been attributed to supernatural causes or regarded as bad omen? They were thinking that the sun or moon would never appear or bring them bad luck when there is a sudden darkening of the sky and moon. Ancient Tagalogs called eclipse as Laho. Old people would tell you that during Laho, the sun and the moon were eaten by a big snake called Bakunawa. The only way to bring them back is to create loud noise. The Bakunawa gets irritated with the noise and spews out the sun and the moon back to the people. Is everything clear to you? If that is all clear, let's have a short activity. Let's play fact or bluff. I have here five questions. If the statement is correct, you are going to say, it is a fact. But if the statement is wrong, you are going to say, it is a bluff. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Question number one. Eclipse is an occurrence in which the light from the sun or moon is temporarily black due to the alignment of the earth, moon, and sun. Is it a fact or a bluff? Correct! That is a fact! Question number two. Solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth that fully or partially blacks the sunlight reaching the earth. Is it a fact or or a bluff. Correct! That is also a fact! Question number three. Penumbra is the darkest part of the shadow. Is it a fact or a bluff? Very good! That is a bluff because that is the umbra. Question number four. A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the shadow of the Earth. Is it a fact or a bluff? Great job! That is a fact! And for the last question, Umbra is the region where only one portion of the light source is blocked by the object. Is it a fact or a bluff? Good job! That is a bluff because the answer is penumbra. Good job class! You answer our activity very well. But always remember that we must also take some precautionary measures in observing eclipse, especially the solar eclipse. We should always wear Polaroid sunglasses and some eye protective gear to protect our eyes from damaging when observing eclipse. I hope that you enjoy and learn something in this video. Do not forget to share this to your classmates because sharing is caring and knowledge is power. Again, I am your grade 7 science teacher, Mang Lady G. Serrano. Goodbye class and see you again next time! Thank you.